Hi, you guys. Okay, so today's move-in day, and they said come to the back, to the north dock, and I told them how many boxes I have and what showcases I'm in, and they're sending someone back to help me with the boxes. They'll load them up on a cart and take them um, to my showcase. I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? There goes my stuff. <laughs> so now I just drive back around to the front. Okay, I'm back to the front. Now this is a better view of the mountain range. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I've parked in the back of the parking lot since, you know, today I'm here as a vendor, right? So, wait a minute, I got a little Halloween treat for you. There you go. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna go in and get started. I've always loved these bushes. Look how soft they look. They're like big dandelion bushes. Look. Is that focusing? I sure hope so. <laughs> Those are so cool. Anyways, look at the pretty view. I'm just taking a quick stop here at the Gorman auction. There's no auction this morning, but there will be next week. So I'll check in Friday to see what's going to be auctioned off. But boy, do they have something grand. Let's look at this real quick before we go. First, let me back up. Let me back way up. Wow. Okay, now let's go look at it more closely. That is awesome. I wonder what hotel or whatever this came out of. That's really nice. Okay, let's get started. Woo, that guy was fast. He's already got my stuff dropped off. <laughs> yep, there it all is. So now I need to, um, so here's all my stuff. These are my two cases, 34 and 35. Hi, you guys. So now I want them to take off the doors. And if you want shelves arranged, they ask that they do it for you. Okay? So I need to go have that done. And then I'll get started on everything. Zach has taken off the doors and adjusted shelves the way I want them. And so... <laughs> and so now I'm just um, with my alcohol sanitizer spray that I keep in my purse because I hadn't thought about that cleaning the shelves but I have that so I'm just going to clean the shelves now okay and I'm even going to clean in here okay so that's what's happening now I'll be back I got everything up. I'm gonna take all these boxes out to my car now and then come back in and double check my inventory against my list. And I'll show you guys everything. So this is kind of a emotional moment because I'm leaving all my babies just there. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I'll be back and I'll show you everything. Cause some of this stuff, even if you watch my thrift with me or my hauls, you haven't seen. Okay. Let's do this first though. Clean up our mess. <laughs> well now, here's a little update about that bush. Not so cute anymore. Back inside and I've got my hard copy inventory list because I haven't started an Excel spreadsheet yet. So I'm gonna double check and make sure I did everything right. But here you guys go. Nothing is real, real expensive in here. I think the most expensive thing I have, I'll show you in a minute, is this um, TV lamp, the Swan TV lamp. Because I don't really want to ship that. I don't think it would make it. So all of my tags have the smiley face on the, bot, on the back. 
again my thinking was if things get misplaced you know someone puts it in their cart and then they change their mind that eventually people will be like oh, okay I know that's 34 35 smiley face lady <laughs> so otherwise I put kind of affordable but what I thought was you know nice stuff so um, some cheaper things too you know so let's let you guys look at some cheaper little things I picked up six dollars for that these are three dollars I think they cost me 49 cents you might have seen me pick those up nothing here was real expensive you guys know where I go thrifting so nice flocked planter original price on the bottom says 49.99 from 1979 <laughs> so i got it pretty cheap like two or three dollars some of the flocking's coming off but it's still pretty twelve dollars twelve dollars some things a little more expensive this is actually still marked it's Turda uh, for Linux, etched pink ombre. Can you see the ombre? And it's etched. I'll show you. And see, there's the. I don't know if you can read that, but there's the label on it, and then it's marked again on the bottom, Linux. Uh, this is I can't remember now of Czech Republic, elements. Real big. That's about. That's about. Uh, Two dollars more than it would be on eBay, but there's no shipping. I'm gonna try my hand at a Raku because this one is by a local artist. So that cost me about three dollars. These little 90s retro glass candlesticks, Art Deco Revival, twelve dollars a piece. Aren't those cool? I had stuff like that in the 90s. This is the dream light made in Germany. And it's just a votive. It's real pretty. Isn't that pretty? And that's about what they sell for on eBay, about 20. Love this set. Total it cost me $5. I've got three pieces labeled for $30. Let me pull one out. Won't keep it in the light. It's got some kind of shell, mother of pearl or something inside this ceramic they're contemporary but they look cool right so now let's go up let's see we did all that right okay some Murano style but Asian import glass real pretty though remember that one I liked it because of the music notes and there's the beveled mirror one trying my hand at some of these I don't know if you guys remember this one's the one that was just from Target so I priced it eight dollars oh look I love this little dog it's some kind of weird resin I couldn't find out who made it twelve dollars just because that's some serious cuteness pretty good size too let me show you this this is good um, tomorrow they're having the spooktacular savings event you get 20% off any one item, costume contests, etc. And Willowstone is covering the 20%. So that's cool. So I grabbed one to lay in my booth. An Asian imported stretch basket vase in a Murano style. So it's only 24. It's like 20, 21 inches. Yeah, and I taped over all of my stickers so that they don't get dirty and yellow, nasty looking. Okay. Some Murano style pedestal console bowl. This Murano style, so that's why it's only 28. This is beautiful. This margarita sherbet goblet. I think I spelled sherbet wrong. There's too many R's in that. <laughs> oh well. That's real pretty. And of course, some smileys, right? We're gonna try it. Seven for the mugs. And what did I put the planters at? 12 for the planters. 
That's not for sale. That's just a sign I made. And then these display boxes I found real cheap. This probably could go on eBay. This, if, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, you guys. Kathness, Kathness from Scotland. It's really pretty. I mean, really. And it's marked twice. Some of their stuff goes for a lot more money. This is super heavy. Unfortunately, some stuff doesn't go for enough to really warrant the shipping because this is super heavy. So I'm like, well, that one's going to go. How tall is that? 10 inches. This one I love too. Just a generic hand poured or blown glass. $22 teal on teal. I love this one. That was, that was almost a keeper. See, it's got a darker teal band in it. Smooth pontal. Um, these Mexican confetti or Milly Fiori attempt <laughs> splatter glasses. I think these are usually recycled glass, right? The Mexican blown glass. Can't say for sure. They cost me like a dollar ten. I've got them for twelve, which seems to be the going rate in this market. And I paired it with this beautiful. It doesn't really go together, but I think it coordinates. And when I say go together, I mean, you know, the maker-wise. But I thought, oh, those, that's kind of an interesting set. This you could use for a pitcher or, you know, a vase. That's pretty. $26. Something I fixed. I messed it up. I broke it. I tried to fix it. Painted it. Let's call it upcycle. And I wrote on the bottom that I upcycled it. Just eight dollars. It's still cute. Um, vintage kitty cookie jar, eleven inches. I priced it at sixteen. It is so delicate. So I mean, so delicate. That one I kept for a long time. I went ahead and decided to sell it. You don't often see them in planner style. I put twenty-eight on that Persian kitty. Like I said, you don't often see them in the planter style. This huge splatter glass vase confetti with the ruffle and um, I don't know if you call that riggery when it's just striped. I'm not sure. I think you still loosely can. It's huge. And then Maddox California Pottery Vintage TV Planter Swan. It works. I just didn't trust it for shipping, so I never listed it on eBay. $65, and it works. Nice owl vase. You guys might have seen me pick up. A lot of people try to sell this as vintage on eBay. It is so not. I removed the raw sticker on the bottom. So I think it's only at, like, just because of the novelty factor. I think I went ahead and priced it up a little bit. $18. Okay, so some more cool... That is a Dan Aykroyd um, vodka empty bottle. So that's why it's a little more unique. It's an Asian imported Murano style. So only 22. So that's it so far, you guys. But I can tell you something. Like when I add up the money, I only have like maybe $600 here. Well, you know, unless I sell a couple hundred every day, that's not going to cut it. So I'll probably come back tomorrow because I'm coming back anyways. And I'll show you why later to pick up a couple of things using one of those. I hope vendors can do it too. Um, but anyways, I need to get this packed in a little more, right? All right, let's go shopping now. So there are a lot of sales going on like individual sales and then of course the willow stone sponsored one tomorrow so before we get started i'm going to stop at this lady's booth or table you know this is again where people wait to go up to the cashier which is behind that london telephone so i always look in here you guys might recognize that the lady that always has 80 percent off jewelry and 50 percent off everything else a couple of new pieces 20, so it'd be 10. Lefton. It's got a few little nicks on the ears. 
I'll probably breeze through the jewelry. Oh, what's that? Hmm. 30, so it'd be 15. I don't. Uh, I'm not confident that that's a Murano, though. Definitely a good Murano style. Let me think about that. Oh, hang on. Is that treasure craft? Yes, it is. Wait a minute. I saw it. There. Yay! Treasure craft. Half price would be two dollars. Okay, George is coming next week. You guys know by now he wrote the book on treasure craft, and um, he's got one of his base camps in Florida. So I think for two dollars, I'm gonna get him that. And if he already has one, then he can just sell it. <laughs> That'll be a cute little gift. Oh, I snagged I snagged this as I was walking back into my booth. This is from a different one. Look at this vintage. Look at that. That's a great necklace. And the, she only has it marked four dollars. It's not on sale, but it was another little table over there. But whoa. So that's going to happen. Let me look here real quick. I don't see anything else new. That's new. That left in Madonna and Child. Planter. How much is that? I need to be 10. Pretty sure that's a left in. Pretty sure. Okay, better not quote me, but I think so. I don't think about that. Okay, moving on. Oh, we're going to stop here. There's some amazing stuff here, you guys. Roseville. She's not having a sale. Oh my gosh. That's a Murano. Yes, it is. <laughs> right? $30. That's not a bad price for, you know, just for us to buy for ourselves. That's worth a little more. There's another Roseville. Oh my gosh. $40. Look at that. That's, oh, what is that? It has a fish in it. That looks different quality. Oh. Hey, I know that name. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Johansson. Isn't that Swedish? Thirty-five. Oh, and it's signed too. Signed again. See that? 1988. That's a good price. Personal price for that. It's got some. How do you say Latisse? Latisse. Twenty-four. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, Aria and Fleen. They are signed. What? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. It sure is. Now that's worth a little more than thirty-five dollars. Probably more like sixty, right? About sixty. Oh, sixteen dollars. Oh, that's. I think that's worth more too. That is worth more. There's another nice Murano. That's pretty nice though. Leaf shaped. Let me be more careful. There's another mushroom that looks like stone. Darn, I can't read what that says in there. It's too worn off to read. Alabaster mushroom, $10. I can't read the maker mark. That's an import, isn't it? Yeah. Very pretty. You're cute, but you're not going to be a Murano. Nope, you are a Lennox, but you're cute. Wow. I kind of want to get that. I might get that tomorrow if that's still here for the, my coupon. And how much was this one? 30 That's okay for personal. Really it is. This one's 40 Oh, here's something else too. Oh, 
fully conte with the that's the controlled bubbles and then the gold flex. Thirty dollars. Wow. Not a lot, but some good stuff here. Okay. Let's keep moving and of course I want to go to Citywide. I'm gonna be here a while because there's so many people having sales. Well we were talking about Van Burgle the other day when I went to Sweet Williams to check it out. I went past the corner that was one of the locations for Van Briggle. 20% off everything. So here is a bunch of Van Briggle. $365. Now these prices might be a little elevated, I'm not sure, but Van Briggle stuff is not cheap. So there's some of the color tones. It reminds me of Freak Oma, but kind of more interesting color ombre tones and um, I don't know what to say. More like soft swirly lines and things. And then let's come down here. 850 for the huge lady vase. 495 for the Grecian maybe lady lamp. Love the squirrel. There is the lampshade that we learned about when I was up at um, Van Burgle with George. And he taught me about that. I did not know about those lampshades. That was the first time I had seen it. This is only the second time. $3.95. $3.25. Hey, I'm going to skip most of these cases, although there's some really nice stuff. It's just too hard with the glare to get a good, you know, video for you guys. But if you ever come this way or if you're local, this place is worth a stop. Definitely. I'm going to turn around. Now there's a tiara. Oh my gosh. It's only $30. Sure, it's just an Asian import, but that's something. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, the glare just makes it not a lot of fun. Look at that turtle, though, with the Millifiori in it. $15, 20% off. Okay, so I'm going to skip these and just go to booths and citywide, okay? Because, like I said, the glare. Well, I'm already back. I found something that I want to get. Oh, that's... First of all, this is cute though. I want to get that and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Oh my gosh. I think I have to have this too. Six dollars. That's adorable. A little ceramic. Okay, but I got to get this little piece of brutalist glass. I'm almost sure this is by, I don't know if I'm going to say it right, Orifers, Sweden. And I think it's worth more like 25 I'm pretty sure. I'm going to get that. If I'm wrong, it's okay. I like it. That means i got to double check everything else. That's a nice cloisonne vase. Let's see if there's a good price on that. 15. Oh, it's not really closing a technically because it's like enamel over ceramic, but I, I need to know what you call that. You call that something different actually. A lot of people will still just say closing a, but if you're a purist, technically it's not. Candle, oh no, candle. 750 $10. Vincey, mouth blown. Sorry. Get an angle. Those horses. looks old. It's hard to say though. Some things are just made to look old. 
six dollars. Oh, is that an old piece or did that just come from Ross? <laughs> Hard to tell these days. Eight dollars. That's a cutie. Okay, we're going to move on now. I really should get that, shouldn't I? That's adorable. Well, this is an interesting booth. I'm just cruising through, and right there under that bunny <laughs> pot holder were three sets of these. They almost look vintage, too. And guess what? They're $1.50 for the pair. I couldn't grab them fast enough to put in my cart. <laughs> Hello. So now we got to check this booth out because I'm seeing some crazy prices. $9 for this vintage ashtray with the lighter horse. That seems like a good deal. Look at this horse planter, horse head planter. $5. Can't quite read the label. Hang on, let me put my glasses on. I don't look everything over in this booth. Hang on, I'm getting my glasses. No nicks or anything either. People like that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, like there's a, you know, a home project, so to speak probably that too you know buy the mold and paint it but look at the difference hmm I might get that let's see what else is in here now I'm very intrigued what is this Central Pacific Railroad Chamber Pot. Wait a minute. I think that's that's worth more than five dollars. I know that. That's going in the cart. Woo. I might be back for you. Let's see what else is in here. Is that oh is this bake light poker chips? Ah, oh, eight dollars? Dang, I wish I knew my bake light. I think that's worth more than eight dollars too. For real. What else is in here? Four dollars for an older log cabin fake cork. Four dollars for this. Don't know enough about bottles. What else is happening? Three fifty. I don't think that's a knockoff either. The quality's there. Avon though. I wonder who made that for Avon. Okay, so it's not a knockoff, but it was made by one of the companies for Avon. That's still. Mmm. Things are changing with Avon stuff. People are telling me. $7 for that. $7 for this made in Japan. $2.50. That looks like Linux or something. Got to be careful. It was all chipped, so I'm not going to try to figure out any further if that's older jadeite, like real. What are these little things? Colorado Springs Glass Company. Pen holder. Well, that's cute. I should get one of those just because Colorado Springs holds a pen. <laughs> We do have glass blowers down in Manitou. That's a fact. That studio has been there for as long as I can remember. Mm. More Colorado Springs glass. 
Another one of those. Well, I might have scooped out what was good. Plastic. That's all resin stuff. Wait a minute, that's cute. Campbell's salt and pepper shaker, five dollars. Okay. Oh, you're cute. Plastic, so probably like Home Co or Sirocco, that kind of thing. That's cute though. Okay. Company's coming. Gotta go. So it's brought to my attention. And I kind of knew it too. <laughs> that sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm going to check this out. And then I never come back. All right. This says National Potteries, Japan. And it's in good condition. I mean, it's a little dirty, but you know, there's no chips or anything. And so it actually probably has a resale value of 15 to 20, uh, 15 to $22, actually. I think I'll go ahead and leave that here though. And we're moving on. This booth, last time I was here, had a bunch of glass. And might have got lucky and sold it all. I only see one piece left moved over here. I hope so. That's encouraging. This is new that he's added. That's why, really, I turned the camera back on. Okay. Five hundred dollars. It's about almost four feet tall, carved out of some wood. Some faces and possibly an animal. <laughs> I can't really tell. And then I want to see what this is. Oh, reproduction. It's cool though. else new in here just scanning there's the big horse head we saw last time this is my last row then I'm gonna check my showcases and then go buy some of these things that I've purchased <laughs> One minute, let me take a quick peek this new stuff because I am looking for a pizza cover Oh, 50% off? Okay, I am going to look here. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'll see you guys later. I hope you had a little bit of fun. Bye-bye. Okay, well, good luck, my little sweethearts. <laughs> I hope someone buys you and takes you to a new home. The sun's getting ready to set. I was really in there a long time. That's okay, I had fun. I can still make it home before dark. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>